What is going on everybody? How's everybody doing? I am just in my car again. Like you see many times and people go, why do you keep looking at the camera? Well, I got these wraparound glasses. I can move my head here, but see, I'm still looking straight ahead. Ooh, scary stuff. Anyways, I'm just kind of concerned with, you know, what's going on with YouTube. Everybody's panicky because if they don't have their thousand subscribers, they're losing funds. And I, you know, I understand all that, you know, it's, that sucks. But rather than trying to do something to fix that and help others get to where they need to be, and I'm not, and don't say that, you know, the Wombat's saying this because he's, he's only has like a handful of subs. It's like 200, but you know, to some people it's like, well, you don't have as much as me. So, you know, it says not a competition thing. Another thing it's not, it's not Hatfield and McCoy's where everybody's hating on each other because you're in this camp or you're in this camp and I get tired of all the drama and some of the people that I'll make a video and then I get comments about oh I saw you were in so and so's chat and you're a bad person or you weren't in so and so's chat that means you hate them you know I just try to make funny content content that will be appreciated by everybody I don't care who watches it if you if those of you who do watch it I really appreciate it and I do appreciate the feedback but if you're gonna come in here and try to sell me like swampland and Louisiana or whatever state I'm not I just brought that up just you know it's trying to sell me swampland or snake oil or what sunglasses or whatever just do that somewhere else you know you can send me a link on Twitter I'll check out your snake oil or swampland or whatever or send it to my email but I remember the good old days of YouTube. I haven't been on here very long, but I remember, you know, this was a place where you could come to watch videos like Chocolate Rain and Keyboard Cat and some of the other stuff. And then you had some of the guys that, you know, when they started off, were marginally funny. I'll say, you know, when, when Logan Paul and some of the other ones started off, it was okay. You know, this is a new thing, vlogging and stuff. It was kind of entertaining, but then the whole thing just went to their heads, and they just thought they're untouchable, and they could do whatever they wanted to, and it came back to bite them pretty darn hard. And now we've got people, and I'm not going to mention any names, on quite a few of the channels that do live streams that are just spilling tea and slinging arrows and slinging mud and slinging monkey poo and everything else. It's just... <laughs> It's ridiculous. Why? You trying to get subs? You trying to get people to like you? I just, you know, put some comments. You know, so she's bad. He's bad. They're bad. You know, I don't like them because their cat gave me fleas. I don't like them because their dog bit me twice, and then I bit him back five times. You know, you guys are oh, we're spilling tea, spilling tea. Some of the tea that I hear people spilling, and I don't like the drama channels, but lately the tea that everybody's I got fresh tea. Your tea ain't fresh. It's covered with like five weeks of mold. You have to cut off the inch layer of mold just to get to any thing that slightly resembles tea. And it's all separated and it's all nasty and everything else. If it was a glass of milk, it would have been cottage cheese or maybe even solidified to Limburger cheese by now. The drama is, it's the same old stuff recycling arrows to shoot at the people you don't like this time we're gonna set them ablaze we're gonna dip them in rattlesnake poison and hopefully they hurt a little bit more and then I hear people going on about there's a lot of people in this community that try to do a lot of good things for people they try to raise money for families that are in a bind oh they're they're trying to swindle everybody they're duplicating accounts or you hear people that are telling their life story where they had an alcohol addiction or a substance issue or you know marital issues or sexual addiction or abuse and then rather than saying that's great you know give them a big thumbs up what do we do we drag them under the bus once a junkie always a junkie once a prostitute always a prostitute oh you know 
we hear that someone had abuse as a kid. Well, they deserved it. You know, it's a bunch of crap. I'm sorry. But it is. I'm not apologizing, but it's just, it's a bunch of crap. You know, I remember that, like I said, I remember the days when YouTube used to be something you look forward to. Now, I don't look forward to it. It's getting kind of cringy. Everybody going off on everybody else. I'm just here to make content. And I'm here to support others that make content. And, you know, some of you guys go, Why do I have any so many subs? Some of the people that I've subscribed to, I've subscribed back because they subscribed to me. And I understand if it's just, you know, you're just starting out, you're kind of shy or whatever. You know, that's that's fine. But some people go in the chats and they, they you know, they're the expert on this, the expert on that. And then I notice they sub and I sub back to them and they look at their channel and there's no videos. Or the videos that they have on there are just other people's videos. You know, it's like, even if it's terrible, try to make your own content. I don't mean terrible by dragging somebody through the mud and over the, the hot coals. But I mean if it's something like a bird flying through the sky and it looks like you took the, the video with your cell phone after you've handled it with copious amounts of mayonnaise on your fingers and through like 17 glad zipper freezer bags and the quality's bad, at least you're making content. Dragging people through the mud, bringing up old moldy tea. I'm sorry, but that <laughs> that is not content. I'm just calling it as I see it. It's my humble opinion, and I know I'm going to get all kinds of feedback in the comments section, but I do leave my comments up about how I'm personally calling out this person, that person, and I have not mentioned any names. I have not mentioned a single name other than... I mentioned Logan Paul, and, and we know that he's done stuff, and he's like way over there. No, I'm talking about people that that I know in my little Twitter community that comment on my stuff, and also people that I've I've been into, um, you know, chats. You know, I'm just saying, clean things up, straighten things up. I mean, what are you gonna do? You see a person that you you act like you're their friend. They get a really nasty cut from a car accident or a work injury, or whatever. Then you're like, they get it banged up. It's like a day or two old. Go, oh, let me see that. And then whew, it's like, ah, what are you doing? Oh, we're just putting some salt in your wound. It's like, what do you do that for? Oh, let me rinse it off. And rather than using water to rinse it off, you guys are using rubbing alcohol to rinse out the salt. All I'm saying is stop the crap, all right? I mean, like I said, people who are trying to use this platform to help other people to raise awareness of things, big ups to you guys. Those who are like, have personal vendettas and agendas, you know, take that somewhere else because we, we're getting tired of seeing it. We're getting tired of being made to pick sides. We're getting tired of being told who we can talk to, who we can't talk to. I mean, I was in somebody's chat room, this was like months ago, and somebody goes, oh, that's, that's, that's that guy. He's, he's hooked up with somebody, which I wasn't even, I wasn't even affiliated with this person. And it was just crazy. But you know, you guys are just, are crazier than crazy, and this person's stopping in front of me. Keep going, dude, everything's gonna be okay. Everything is fine and beautiful!